In this video, we're going to learn how to write a logarithmic expression as a sum or difference of logarithms. So I rewrote those three important uh, properties from the last lesson up here in the top left as reference. And now let's get into these examples where we're going to write each expression as a sum and or difference of logarithms and express powers as factors. And I'll explain what, that, what I mean by that whenever it comes up. So if I have log base 5 of 25x, then I can write this, since they're being multiplied 25 times x, as log base 5 of 25 mi uh, plus log base 5 of x. Now log base 5 of 25, the power you raise 5 to to get 25 is 2, so log base 5 of 25 is 2. So my expression becomes 2 plus log base 5 of x. The natural log of x over e to the x, since I'm, since I'm dividing on the inside of the log, I can expand that to be the natural log of x minus the natural log of e to the x. Now the natural log of e to the x, that's log base e of e to the x, so those two can cancel, leaving me with just x. So I get natural log of x minus x. Right here, I have log base a of x times the square root of x squared plus 1, as long as x is greater than 0. This is just the domain for that particular logarithm. So I see I have multiplication going on, so I can write this as log base a of x plus log base a of the square root of x squared plus 1. Now, what does this mean by express powers as factors? Well, the square root of x can be rewritten as x squared plus 1 to the 1 half power. So if I have log base a of x plus log base a of x squared plus 1 to the 1 half, to make that power a factor, I move it to the front of the log using the bottom property. So I'll get log base a of x plus 1 half log base a of x squared plus 1 to finish off the problem. So all powers must become factors in front of the logs. And we've expanded this. In some ways, this could be seen as simpler than just shoving all these variables together. But you always have to make that judgment for yourself on, on problems in the future. Now next up, let's say I have log of x times x plus 2 over x plus 3 squared, as long as x is greater than 0. This can work. If I have division, so I can first separate this as log of x times x plus 2 minus, because I have division here, minus log of x plus 3 squared. Now on the left, I have x times x plus 2, so that can be separated. So I'll get log of x plus log of x plus 2. And this power will now become a factor, so it'll be minus 2 log of x plus 3. So that is that expanded form. That is a sum or difference. In this case, sum and difference. You have a sum and a difference of the logarithms. Up here, I have a natural log, but the properties still work the same. It's just log base e, just like you saw over here. I have division, so this becomes natural log of x squared minus the natural log of x minus 1 cubed. And this expression only works when x is greater than 1, so we'll have to assume that. Now these powers can become factors by moving to the front using that third property. So I have 2 natural log of x minus 3 natural log of x minus 1. So now that's expanded as the difference of logarithms. And this last one, I ha it starts off with division. So I have log base a of the square root of x squared plus 1 minus log base a of x cubed times x plus 1 to the fourth. Now, the square root of x squared plus 1 can be written as log base a of x squared plus 1 to the 1 half. So I can take care of that power. And on the right, I have, 
and put in parentheses, these two are being multiplied till they'll add together. So log base A of X cubed plus log base A of X plus one to the fourth. Now the reason why I put this in parentheses is to remind you that we have to actually subtract both of those terms. We'll distribute that negative. Since both those factors in the denominator, both those logs should be negative. So now taking care of the powers, I'll have one half of log base A of x squared plus one, then minus three log base A of x minus four Again, that negative multiplies in and the four comes out in front. Log base A of X plus one. And that is how you write a logarithmic expression as a sum or difference of logarithms.